Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Kanoko Kyokai movie number 3. Uh, this is called uh, Remaining Sense of Pain. Okay, uh, and uh, in the previous uh, movie, uh, we kind of got to see like a different personality to Shiki. And there were a little bit of confusing portions here and there, but uh, I can kind of like figure out what is happening, like uh, the thing that happened. And uh, like it was understandable. And uh, up until now, I don't have any problem with this movie because, like, I can understand it fully. Uh, if, even if, uh, like, everything is not crystal clear, I can understand what is happening and a uh, few of the things here and there, like the hidden meanings and all of the things, I can kind of understand. And there is no kind of problem that I thought that I would face. Like, I thought that uh, reacting to a movie like this and, uh, like, reacting to a movie itself is quite a big deal because, uh, especially these type of movies where there are a lot of hidden meanings and you have to, like, constantly keep, keep uh, an attention to the subtitles and everything and they talk quite quickly. So, uh, I'm kind of fine now. Like, I can kind of, like, get how I'm going to, like, react and the way I'm reacting, I can kind of, like, get used to it. So I'm hoping that uh, I'm able to do it all the with the remaining movies as well. So yeah, okay. Um, let's get started. And if I am like I miss something, I'll try to like uh, go uh, like go over those portions after the movie ends. And I like I can't like uh, pause it in between because the timer would get messed up. So like I will try to try try my best to like understand each and everything. But if I miss something, I'll probably go uh like uh, revisit that portion after um, uh, the reaction has ended and at the post discussion section so yeah okay so without further ado guys let's get started with movie number three of karano kyokai okay so <coughs> the subtitles will be uh, given uh, sync it to the subtitles or the timer whichever is your preference and uh, let's get started with the movie okay so i'll be counting down three Two, one, go. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. I don't know in which time frame this is. Like uh, the previous movie was, I think, in the first movie uh, chronologically. Uh, let's see where this movie falls into. Wait, what the hell? Wait, you see? What the hell? Oh my god, what is happening? Okay, so... What is happening here? Okay, so this is quite a grim opening. Ever cry, never live. Okay, we can see Kokuto here. Okay, I was really not expecting that at the beginning. What? All right. Okay, so he found her.
Wait a second. I, I can recognize this girl, isn't this something her name is Fujinos, isn't it? She's an FGO. Okay, I, I, I can see her face clearly. I think this is I forgot her name. It's painful. Okay. Whoa, I did not know she has such like a grim story. I've seen the servant before in FGO, a few people uh, having her, but okay. She's gone, isn't it? Ah. <sighs> Crime took place. A young man. Okay. okay, so she killed them. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so she bought something. Okay, all right. Hundred years old. <laughs> well, he needs his money, <laughs> salary. <coughs> Oh my god. <coughs> what? Oh no, this is... Mm. Okay. <laughs> oh. Seconds request. Okay. So someone hiding her for that. The client is pretty sure. Okay. Okay, so what could you do without knowing the face? We cut from the same cloth. Okay, so she's some like someone like Shiki. She has powers like her. Okay. <laughs> okay. We don't know anything about his parents. I haven't even touched him quitting college. Oh, okay.
Hmm. Well, he uh, he's really giving it. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Ah, okay. All right. Let's see what he wants. Minato Keita. He didn't come home last night. Okay, so it was... Oh no. <coughs> Excuse me. Are, are the, these those guys like like wait a second if she had that power so why like why was she violated then if she has this type of power oh my god okay um If I don't, I... Hmm... Fujino, yeah. I forgot her first name. What was her first name? We saw this girl before. As a, okay. Wait, so Kokuto is his brother? Okay, so was that like we saw her in the ending scene before? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, see, she can like feel something. I'm too in pain. What? What pain? Sakura and Porter. Okay, so he was like related to those guys.
Oh no. Okay, so Okay, here we go. And he's been killed. Wow, her powers are quite so he has telekinesis something like that okay um hmm oh i i thought this was keta okay so this is not keta hmm oh my god Okay, hmm. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. It's the only way I can be like others. Okay, it's a sign though. Okay, Asakami, okay, Asa I remember her name. Oh my god, this this girl is like something in the head and deprived of their origin hmm Okay. Like they both have some ocular powers. Wait, what? Wait, what happened? Wait, she she also has multiple personalities or what? No, um, hmm. Oh my god. Okay, ah. Wait, she doesn't feel pain? Okay, yeah. <laughs> so 
stomach hurts. She's saying that from the beginning. I can finally feel pain. I finally feel alive. Oh my god. So she's doing all of this just for the pain. Oh my god. Well, you guys were also like, what the hell? Half a year ago. Oh my god, these guys, like, what? Well, you guys got what you deserved. Well, I, I don't think you should like save these type of people. Oh my god. Um, yeah, you should go, go away. These type of people don't need any help. Well, yeah, I don't think so. Getting stabbed is what to what? Oh, so that's why it was hurting.
Wait, what? Oh, she really does feel pain. What? She is completely healed, but the wound still aches. Why? Like, if it is healed, then why would it? Sensation of pain lingers. Insensitive. Strange reaction. Wait, being insensitive doesn't mean large injection. I don't know how hard. That... Oh, okay, temporarily. get anything she has no body okay oh so she's feeling as if she's alive oh my god this is quite like a twisted type of yeah Hmm. It's so familiar. Victim. Wait, why is she limping? Oh no no, he's not. Oh no, he's okay, quite. She hasn't been there. Hmm. Okay, people are quite like. Oh no, okay. So she's like, she wants to feel more pain so that she can feel that she's alive. Dead before the accident. Fender bender.
Akimi. Seventh victim. Okay. So like, yeah, like uh, this like defeats the purpose. He was she was like randomly killing now, and she has got a motive now. Okay. What is this? Soren Araya. Soren Araya. Name kind of like seems familiar. Soren Araya. Oh, I can't put my finger on it. Strong be created first. Maybe the one who is this. Oh. If she's like she became insensitive again, why is her uh, stomach hurting? She should be insensitive now. So oh, so this is her past. Oh, she knew Kokto. Wait. She knew her, uh, him. I didn't want anyone to know that I feel pain. So that is also a reason why she wants to feel pain. Okay. 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 So uh, th like, okay. So that is also like the reason why he wants to feel pain. So that, uh, okay. Oh my God. What happened to him? And where is Shiki? He's going to ask. She used to be completely normal. What? So why at the childhood? Why did she, like she hurt her hands? Sent to find. Okay, artificially robbed. What? Oh, 
Oh. Mm, it's too late. Okay, so the thing is, okay, I'll, I'll have to think about this after it ends. Like, I'm. I'll have to think it properly. It will keep hurting. She was never wounded. Yeah, so like she's like she already again sensitive. Oh, so that's why she like. No, she's thinking that she has like the sensitivity. She she's still inter insensitive. Oh, she was hurting from. Okay, okay. I'll... Wait, so she has some problem from the beginning and she's like mistaking it for the stab wound, so... Oh my god, the music is coming. Okay, so she has telekinetic power. So this is like kind of like a telekinetic power. Primary physician. Oh, appendicitis. Okay. Okay, so that is why how he mis mistook it. Hmm. Yeah. Self defense. So, because she sheltered him, that's why she's... Oh no... Yeah... She's mental as well... Yeah... Okay. 
Oh, oh no, oh no, oh my god! Oh. oh my god, she missed. Oh my god. Oh. It's murder syndicate. She doesn't get random. Okay, so, okay. Yeah. Yeah, like she is like enduring this for quite a long time. Five days. Oh no. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. But that doesn't make it her fault, like... Okay. Okay, so Shiki has like death perception. Yeah, she can like cut anything. Yeah. Yeah, this one. It's also in Shiro, Tsukihime. Yes. No, it won't work now. Yeah, she was like Oh no, is she, is she going to like twist the whole bridge or something? Okay, this is uh 
Oh my god. She, she's like she's not going to survive too long <sighs> oh it's over It's over. Okay. Bro, they're too late. Clairvoyance? Wait, she's using telekinesis? No. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh my god! <laughs> But she's alive then. Hmm. Oh, so, so where is she now? Okay.
Yeah, but yeah. Burden me with a sin. Want it. It's vegan with a dead problem. Wasn't as bad as I thought. Oh, okay. Well, we see her smiling face for the first time. Like a real smiling face. Yeah, truly happy face. Since she woke up. So, okay, so this is like after she woke up. We still don't know uh, about that time when she was like in coma. What happened there? I think in... Uh, some other movie it will be discussed 1998 never cry never live life okay well uh, this episode had almost like nothing uh, what do you call it uh, you have to like uh, rake your brain about like like it was quite simple uh, what do you call this straightforward it was quite straightforward simple and only one thing I have to like uh, like see again like I, I'll after the ending uh, finishes I'll I'll check that portion out the portion where it is like uh, his dad like what happened with the dad and everything is like discussed like like her um, insensitivity portion I kind of like got a little bit confused over there Okay, so uh, Asagami Fujino, so I never knew that she has uh, like uh, this type of a uh, story uh, like in, in a background like sh like we have sh seen her in like fa like I've only seen her in Fate Grand Order and like like uh, people really even use her like I've like seen her being used uh, one or two times and in the support list that we usually get. She's an archer over there, and I th I knew that she was uh, from Karano Kyokai because like it kind of like came in that um, Garden of Seniors event. So at, at the beginning, when at, at the beginning singing, like I could not like see her face properly, so I was unable to recognize her. But after like the beginning portion ended, and we see her like walking through the road. Uh, like that purple kind of hair and that red eyes uh, made me remember that yeah she is in fate grand order
and this movie was like enjoyable but uh, like I would definitely rank this a lot lower than the first two movies that I saw like this is interesting in itself but like not uh, in the what do you call it in the league of the previous two uh, the previous two were like uh, extremely good um, especially the first movie the first movie was amazing I really liked it and the second movie was also uh, like really amazing we got to see Shiki's uh, kind of like the hidden side and uh, I don't know if that uh, side still persists in her it must persist like uh, Toko was telling um, Kokuto that uh, like she, she himself uh, herself like admitted that she also likes killing like that kind of thing is still persisting in her but she like Toko also, also said that she does not kill like mindlessly uh, and uh, and uh, Fujino reminded me of Sakura a lot like the the type of like what do you call it the dark tone sh uh, she has and uh, like I've uh, like uh, in Fate Stay Night uh, th like the introduction of Fate and the Type Moon franchise I started with the visual novel of Fate Stay Night that is the uh, visual novel which had like the what do you call it three of the roots that is the first is the uh, what is it called fate root i think fate root uh, unlimited blade works and uh, heaven's field root and because i've like uh, played the visual novel i know what happens to sakura even though like the movie has still not the po last portion of the movie has still not aired i kind of know and uh, it was a long time ago i, I forgot the like I forgot most of the parts, but I still know the thing that happened. Is it the end? What was happening? Yeah, it's the end. Okay, so uh, yeah, as I was saying, like I uh, don't remember the what do you call it, each and every portion of it, but still the basic thing that happened, I know what happened in Heaven's Field. Route. So like the d sudden like what do you call it, the dark type of tone that uh, like. Uh, with Fate Root and Unlimited Blade Works, it's, it was dark, obviously dark, but the sudden like ch change in the sh shift of, in the tone of the series could be felt in the Heaven's Field Root of Sakura's Root. Like, uh, like uh, Fujino and Sakura has a lot in common. First of all, is the thing is that uh, the obviously the dark tone is the number one uh, factor. Number two factor is like they are like what do you call it? Both extremely unfortunate and uh, like if you guys know like obviously you guys know like first two portion of heaven's field have come out uh, and even if you have not played the vision novel you can like kind of like guess what's happened so like the unfortunate portion is like same in both of these cases they both call uh, senpai like uh, <laughs> sakura called shiro senpai and um, fujino here calls kokuto senpai and there are a lot of things like the uh, like the uh, what do you call it the color palette also kind of like matches them uh, sakura and fujino and uh, they're both like mild mannered and everything shy type of characters all of these things really match but has like uh, what do you call it a hidden side to them so yeah um let's talk about this movie and uh, like I was extremely surprised at the beginning like I was not expecting that at all like it's just at the beginning of the movie and uh, like there are a few things I'm quite um, what do you call it confused about first of all is that if she wanted to feel pain then why like like why was she like she has powers like she was getting violated so like like was she like uh, not using her powers because she wanted to feel pain and she felt as if like yeah if i don't do anything they will inflict pain on me so uh, that was the reason why she was like enduring that i don't know um but anyways um then we see like uh, like at the first we can see obviously that she is like holding her stomach at that time we don't know but uh, after we come to know that that's because of the appendicitis and like the thing that confused me i'm going to like watch that portion uh, a bit in the like now i'm going to like look at that portion first okay so here is the thing like 
so let me uh, say what I understood from this um, I understood that so the thing was like she like was she really insensitive to pain from the beginning like uh, we see her like uh, getting like cutting her fingers and, uh, and like uh, with a knife at her very young age my god this uh, thing is like uh, disturbing a lot my like uh, the video okay uh, so yeah as I was saying that um, uh, first we see that she kind of like hurt herself at the very um, okay here it is at the very beginning uh, like at a very young age so, so so as far as I got like she was insensitive and uh, no like uh, no no for, I'm being a little bit confused here okay so uh, at first we uh, thought that yeah she was insensitive to pain so that was the reason why she was like cutting her hand and everything and not feeling anything and uh, then because of that like here's the thing um, it is said that if you feel pain you uh, get the proof that you're alive now if someone does not feel pain at all like they were trying to uh, like say this that if that she did not feel pain at all so she did not feel as if she was living so once she got the feeling of pain and she once she got the feeling that yeah uh, I am alive she wanted to like uh, feel that more so she was uh, looking for pain like she was looking for ways she got hurt or so that she can feel pain and she can feel alive okay so here it is like um here's a portion oh my god the video is disturbing a lot just a sec like i'm uh, looking at the portion where like the doctor was talking with uh Kokto. just a sec my god the video is so much Okay, so Kokto says here, uh, uh, come on, uh, Arik, okay, I found out that Fujino Asagami is insensitive to pain like we suspected, but she used to be completely normal, okay, so, she is insensitive but she was normal before all right okay now the doctor says that uh, the young lady of asakami family was a little strange she was able to bend objects without touching them okay we know this so the villagers <coughs> stayed away from her and harassed her we also know this it really bothered her father he sent for me to treat her I didn't actually treat her I only got a hold of the medicine he had requested all right and that treatment made her insensitive to pain this is Kokuto is saying that uh, so this treatment made her insensitive to pain question mark insensitive to pain oh I don't know about that at first she cried when she fell and she cried when she bled all right it was a big deal every time okay um, so like here's the thing like so her father uh, like made her go to the doctor because of her powers that is that kind of telekinetic powers or clair clairvoyance which is uh, uh, said by Toko so sh like he tried to cure that and like Kokuto is thinking like because of the medicine he, she consumed she became insensitive to pain but the doctor says otherwise the doctor says that no the, uh, she fell down and she got hurt before and she cried even and Toko here says that it's not congenital or like like it's not something she inherited or like got from something actually it's not accurate to call it insensitivity to pain Fujino Asagami was artificially robbed of sensitivity now what does this mean like being insensitive I can understand but being artificially robbed of sensitivity so like she was like she got to like experience pain before but she was robbed of that like someone took that out of her like what 
she's a complete opposite of Shiki. Okay. Hmm. Her father tried to seal her ability. Okay. So her father tried to seal her ability by killing off her sensitivity. All right. So um. Okay. Let's let's see more what's happening. She's purebred, but not like Shiki, whose father tried to reveal her powers. Okay, we don't know about this portion, like, uh, we barely know anything about Shiki. So, like, there must be something more to her, we'll probably get to see in the other movies. But sadly, Fujino's ability was strengthened even more. Okay, so like, so here's what happened. Her father did not want uh, the uh, the powers, her powers to be like she. He wanted to seal those powers. So the first thing he did was sent her to the doctor, and her doctor gave her the medicine that was prescribed by his father. I don't know. Anyways, but like uh, at that time she was still sensitive to pain. So like then Toko says that her father decided to seal her powers by making her insensitive to pain and taking that sensitivity away so how does that work like um okay like like maybe something happened like uh okay this is a bit confusing like i am understanding the premise of the what is trying to say like what happened i can uh, understand the background but the uh, like the technical portions i'm not quite getting like i'm not understanding this portion like how can like taking away the sensitivity of your pain result in sealing your powers like how does that work um i don't know i can't get this portion if you guys like understand what like what she like she's trying to uh, say that yeah because she was uh, robbed of the sensitivity that is how sh his father tried to seal her powers but i'm not getting how does that like how does this equal to that like they're completely like kind of like a different thing both of them so like sealing her sensitivity how can that seal her powers like if you guys understood that portion uh, like please clarify that me in the comment section like i'm understanding what it, like they try to do uh what his dad tried to do but i'm not understanding the technical portions of it like how does that work anyways so like uh, from the background we can understand is like she was like um what do you call it sensitive to pain she was like a normal kid but uh, the only thing abnormal about her was her powers and uh, just like to seal that powers his father uh, his fa uh, her father kind of like uh, forcefully like took away her sensitivity somehow and because of that she did not feel pain and like uh, after cutting her hands with the knife she did not feel pain and uh, all of these things happened and then she like uh, he was also kind of like what do you call it because of that she did not want others to know like uh, that she did not feel pain and so like people would look at her weirdly because people if people saw that yeah she, she did not feel pain people would always obviously like bully her or like things would happen so that's the reason why she tried to hide it and like she met Kokuto that time uh, when her like uh, leg was injured and Kokuto ha kind of helped her and I think like uh, her like because she like Kokuto also said that if you feel pain be sure to uh, say that express that now um, I also think that uh, her like so obsession the obsession with pain like she wanted to feel pain one of the reasons was obviously because she wanted to feel alive like like not feeling pain that is like kind of like a very kind of like what do you call it not good thing like uh, it really like kind of like messes with your mind so like that was also that was one of the reasons but another reason was because of Kokuto because like because of that pain or that uh, injury Kokuto kind of gave like attention to her and because of that she like wanted like she was all obviously a shy kid and she didn't was not like kind of like uh, recluse and everything did not express uh, her uh, feelings to anyone so like after someone like after Kokuto kind of like uh, uh, treated her good like uh, treated her well 
and tried to help her, uh, treat, uh, treat her kindly, she wanted to feel that more, that kind of kindness and like wanted to like talk with uh, people more, talk with Kokto more, wanted to like talk with him and more, uh, all of these things. So she kind of like equated that, yeah, uh, because of that injury, because of this pain, uh, whatever that I am supposed to feel, someone is giving attention to me. So if I feel this more, um, people would probably give me more attention. Uh, Kokoto would probably talk to me more. I think she kind of like equated that with this as well. So like these two of the things kind of like mixed and she wanted to like feel pain, to feel alive and also to like gain acceptance to the other pe from the other people. Like I think that is like also another kind of like uh, additional reason she had of the her like obsession with uh, feeling pain <coughs> excuse me and uh, and uh, like uh, and here's the thing like these all things happened and then like uh, i don't know like how they uh, got like uh, how like uh, what was his name and the kokuro's junior uh, got hold of the, that uh, fujino I don't know how like uh, or what happened like they did not uh, go through those portions like how did these uh, the people who were like violating her uh, got to meet F Fujino and everything like what happened what was the background of that like it was not shown but something must have happened and they kind of came into contact and like she was violated because of that and like like she was really apathetic to all of those things because she did not feel pain she did not feel anything and uh, like when she was hit by the um, baseball bat like they're saying that her uh, insensitivity kind of went away temporarily and she cried out and she got hurt and like here's the thing all of these times she wanted to feel pain but after feeling actual pain after her insensitivity kind of went away she got to understand the real like pain what pain is like how much bad that is and like if you are like if you don't don't feel pain for about like uh, 15 or 16 years if you are unable to feel pain for like uh, so many uh, years and suddenly you get to feel pain like that will also kind of like mess with the mind and you would not want that happening again and that thing also happened here so she wanted to feel pain but after feeling pain she understood that no like this is extremely bad so she like when she, they were like tried to stab her she understood that yeah if this thing gets stabbed in me and i, I am like insensitive i'm sensitive to pain now it would hurt a lot and like i might die even she uh, thought that so that was the reason why she killed those guys the people who were violating her and uh, she mistook her appendicitis pain as if she was stabbed and uh, like she was not stabbed but she her like uh, problem was uh, within her from the beginning that append appendicitis and then she kind of equated that with the, the pain in her appendicitis and she thought that yeah this guy stabbed me so i should like take revenge and this uh, and she started killing the people like this was this was all like kind of like a misunderstanding but in a weird way they those guys kind of got what they deserved like uh, and uh, she started killing them and then when Kokuto uh, sheltered the, his junior who was also like involved in this, uh, she did not find uh, that guy. So she like started killing others. Like uh, we obviously saw that guy who was like uh, uh, had information about uh, Kokuto's junior. I'm forgetting his name anyways. And uh, she kind of like twisted their hands and everything and tried to like... Um, uh, what do you call it interrogate them as to where uh, he was hiding but he did not know uh, or did not say not did not say he did not know so he was unable to say anything so like she tried like she became like killed uh, like a person who was not involved all in all of this and that kind of like tipped Shiki off and also gave her a motivation as to like why she should go and stop her because like before that it was like they got they were getting what they deserved like they did a bad thing and they that thing was like going back to them it's karma so she was she was unable to do that like this can all be kind of like uh, sh shelved into kind of like a self-defense thing like she was being attacked so she retaliated but uh, after she started uh, targeting those uh, one of the innocent people 
she got her motivation and the reason why she should stop her and went there to stop her <coughs> and then like we see that fight happening and everything and like i was i was really expecting her to be killed at the end because like the movie was uh, like what do you call it um, the movie was going in such a direction as if i felt like that by the end of the movie she was probably going to die like the movie was m moving in that way so it was a really surprise and I, i'm really glad that she's okay and she decided to like i thought like shika was killing her because uh she was uh, suffering in pain so when shiki like at the end stabbed her i thought that yeah she kind of like uh, let her out of the misery and killed her swiftly but thankfully she had another method of uh, kind of uh, what do you call it ending her pain by cutting the appendicitis and here is the amazing thing is here is that shiki can like cut anything and by anything we mean literally anything and i know this because like obviously because of fate grand order and i've also like played sukihime visual novel like in sukihime as far, like it is a long time I've, I've it has been a long time i've played these type of visual novels like sukihime um fate uh, stay night the f f uh, visual novel for, uh, almost like seven years so like as far as i remember the main protagonist of sukihime was a guy i forgot i'm forgetting his name anyways she all he also had a power like this like the death perception like the mystic eyes of death perception it is is called and uh, he could also like sense lines and uh, from the visual novel i understood that he can literally kill anything for example the table like the table also had a line of death and if you like slash through that line of death that things get killed be it inanimate animate abstract anything he could like he literally kill air itself and things like that like th these type of things so shiki i think shiki also has like this type of power the similar type of power and her uh, eyes are the main thing that kind of enables her to do this that uh, death perception mystic eyes so uh, as shiki said that i can kill god i can like if uh, anything i can just kill anything i can even kill god so like yeah this should have also come into my mind that if she can kill anything she could also like kill the disease like the thing that was making the problem the infection of uh, like uh, the, the appendicitis itself she can literally kill it so yeah that was a really pleasant surprise and i like i'm like quite happy because like she did not die at the end like fujino like i was really expecting her to die the way it was going so i was really happy at the end and that she's okay now and probably she'll like um like be in hospital and kind of like i i hope that she mends her ways and uh <coughs> improve herself for a better life and do not like condone in, in this murderous activities and uh, yeah all of these things <coughs> excuse me and at the end we got to kind of see shiki smiling and that was a genuine happy smile like i've never seen shiki smiling in these previous two uh, movies before she she was pouty she was like uh, laughing because of uh, like the murderous impulses and everything uh, she was angry and everything but i never got, got to see a smile so this was like a genuine happy smile and uh, this i think is happening after she woke up from the coma and we did not get to see that portion so that portion would hopefully come later on in the uh, remaining movies and i'm like really looking forward to that portion because like that is like a uh, kind of like a confusing part because uh, she like suddenly went into coma and how she woke up and everything that happened like we'll get to see those hopefully later on so yeah that was this movie and like uh, like i said that my, my only problem in this movie was that portion where i could not understand the like uh, technical thing that happened like how can uh, stealing your sensitivity to pain equal to uh, sealing of your powers like how does that happen so if you guys know about that portion 
uh, without spoiling uh, anything please be sure to like write that in the comment section because uh, i got kind of like the background of what happened but the technical portions i did not get anyways so yeah so that was this movie so uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, this movie was uh, good but i would not put it on top of the others this is good but uh, like the previous two movies were a lot better and i really like enjoyed those and this was like kind of like uh, what do you call it uh, i don't know like okay i can kind of understand why this is not as uh, like this did not uh, directly contribute to anything uh, regarding the main characters like this was of like this was a story of fujino and uh, i think that was the reason why like this uh, was a bit little what do you call it a little lesser in my uh, list but uh, it's definitely like uh, interesting to learn of new characters but suddenly if like uh, we don't get any background uh, uh, explanation of a character and we suddenly go into her arc that kind of like messes with the thing so like that was the reason i think uh, why i enjoyed the other two um, what do you call it other two movies a lot more than this uh, because like suddenly we see her getting like violated and suddenly her story starts and we know nothing about her and, and like uh, the movie kind of like showed what happened to her and her background story um, but like still like this is not bad definitely not bad the, like everything was uh, extremely amazing the animation the music everything and the story was interesting in itself as well and uh, thankfully hopefully we get to see her again later on in the movies but like uh, yeah i really enjoyed the uh, like uh, those two were brilliant like uh, especially the first movie the first movie was like so good i really enjoyed that and uh, so yeah so that was this episode oh, also another thing why i did not i think i did, like uh, this is a lot lesser like we did not have to ra rake our brains more like in the uh, first movie like we had to like uh, actively think what was happening and uh, like there was a little bit of like philo not philosophical but kind of like a uh, hidden meaning kind of things and everything were kind of like it, it kind of like added to the mysterious atmosphere and mysterious uh, feeling we had seeing the movie this was fairly straightforward like i did not get that technical portion but but i don't think that is like something that is like uh, needs too much thinking i think that is like something uh, more technically uh, sort of thing so like in the pre previous two movies we had to like think of the hidden meanings and everything so yeah okay so that was the reason why like i was thinking like oh, oh, what is kind of something is missing in this movie that was the thing that was missing like <laughs> there were no hidden meanings or things that we have to like actively think about in this movie so yeah i can understand why like i am putting this below not because of the story itself but not because of the uh, character itself but because of um what do you call it because of the things that were uh, not put into here like those kind of things which kind of make you think that uh, yeah this is the reason why this is happening and this is like the hidden meaning be be behind these things so yeah that was the reason <laughs> okay i kind of got it myself uh, thinking about it okay so yeah guys um, i enjoyed this movie definitely but i would put the two movies like the other two movies before this uh, not before this but on top of this and uh, so yeah so yeah thank you guys for watching uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel or you haven't and uh, be sure to comment down below uh, the thing that I asked the technical bit portion uh, uh, I really need to know that and uh, anything you want to share about the movie anything you want to say and uh, i'll be sure to check out check them out check the comment section and uh, yeah i'll be back with the new uh, karno kyoka movie uh, which is movie number four next week uh, next week um yeah so thanks for watching again and until then goodbye and have a nice day